All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here. Guess where? Mifflin County Sportsman Association. Yes, sir, we are back. And today we're uh, doing a test run for the firearms that I'm going to be using in the upcoming three-gun event. Now, this is not just a, your normal three-gun event. This is the Duskin Memorial three-gun event. To get a better idea of what I'm talking about, I'm going to put a link down below to X-Ring, who ran this thing last year. Now, uh, due to circumstances beyond my control, I got a phone call from X-Ring and I asked if I'd like to go ahead and join him on the one that's coming up this coming weekend. And I said, sure, sure, I'll do it there, X-Ring, no problemo. Well, the problem is uh, I'm going to probably die doing this, okay? And uh, because it is extremely physical and, you know, I'm, <laughs> hey man, I am in the best shape of my life. Not... So anyway, on top of the physical stuff, I'm transitioning to uh, open division, which means I've got a brand new shotgun that I have to play with. And uh, as of yesterday, it was not running up to speed. I, I, I did the ports, I uh, enlarged those to 0.11 thousandths and uh you know ran a bunch of 1300s through it i will tell you this uh, it does like the 1300 feet per second super sport uh winchester double a's and also the 1500 feet per second slugs and i was out here today and i've run it a couple times and just for shits and giggles i decided to go ahead and try the 1250 feet per second double a super sports well guess what that thing started running like a charm. And it's got the Timmy trigger in it, having a little issues, not outside of whatever, no real big issues with the Timmy. It did lock back, had it did trigger for a second, reached my little miniature screwdriver and then pop it, boom, went back, not even had any failures. So I thought it'd be fun to just uh, put it, come out here, run some rounds down range for you. Uh, also, my last three gun event, I noticed that uh, I couldn't hit crap with my pistol so i checked the zero on the red dot oh first of all i just want to give a big shout out to callaway ballistics providing all my pistol ammo on the upcoming event thank you very much and i was shooting eight inches high and eight inches to the left at 25 yards and uh huh, that might be a reason why you're missing stuff uh so yeah anyway we did that two inch group 25 yards of, and a vice of course and then i guess while we're here we're going to roll up to the big range i don't have the ability to go up on the range today my car is about done uh but what we're planning on doing is i'm going to test out the aac ammo the 77 grain we're going to take it out to 700 gut yards one of the guys was really looking forward to seeing me do that so without further ado do let's go ahead and <laughs> set that thing up and run it see how she looks stand by all right, so one of the things I wanted to show you guys, I'll go ahead and get this camera. This is my VR80. Now, of course, I've gone ahead and I removed the existing stock on it, put this guy on it, grip, Timmy trigger, uh, and I ported it out. Also got the Rock Island Armory, big old muzzle brake on it here. I do have the extended handguard. It's at the house uh, with the adapter that goes on here. And you know what else is at the house? My 20 round magazines. <laughs> Yeah, I left those there too. Uh, so we're well prepared. We're going to go into this thing. It's going to be kind of hit and miss. Hopefully not hit and miss, but um, let's make sure that those mags feed. Also, do not hold this thing like this and release the bolt because it will take charge of your hand. I've got two punctures in that thing. So here we go. This is a test run. We'll see. We're just going to play fun, have some fun. Act like we're shooting targets. Ready? Magazines fall pretty good, and I got I yeah, and I got to I got to make the magazine hangers because I don't have those in it either. Let's see how fast we can make these go. I think these guys are running, and that's uh, right about 50 or 60, 70 of those things that I put through. So I'm feeling confident that this guy is going to perform uh recoil well that's it so next step i got to test out the uh, low recoil slugs see if the, it's come into its own with those but i'm not gonna put that on camera next thing let's do that onto the rifle range check that out here we go stand by <laughs> all right so here's the funny part winchester white box uh yeah 
Oh, now I don't know how well these things will do running in the uh, 20 round mags because a lot of people talk about compression of the uh, hull. But this is what I needed to have happen. Right? Tons of funds and guns. I hey, almost got one hang up in there. All right, I'm done. The hard part today, one, I like this little protector sleeve that goes around this thing. Uh, the hard part today is going to be uh, picking up all these holes. <laughs> I gotta get busy. Y'all be good. Stand by. Well, all right, guys, here we are. We're sitting out here again at the long range of the Mifflin County uh, Sportsman Association. And the idea here is, I know we got a little bit of wind, not too much. Uh, it's swirly up on the top of the hill, so it's going in and out and all over the place. But uh, what I wanted to do was just kind of shoot out further than 300. I know a couple of people made comments about that. Uh, time, I didn't have enough time to uh, shoot or put cameras up there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some more ear protection on. And uh, turn this guy on. There we go. You guys can hear me. There we go. All right. So the first target I want to shoot at, uh, they've got some little babies out there at uh, the 200. So I just want to make sure we're somewhat on. Those are like six inches, maybe. Huh, maybe a little smaller than that. All right, we've got a hold of it that time. All right, so let's go to 300. Uh, so if they got anything bigger than a four inch target up there. They do not, so uh, let's go ahead and do that, 300. Ooh. I'm all over it. All right, I'm close enough. Uh, 400, we got some decent targets up there. I think we should be able to hit those guys. The wind is picking up right now. All over it. Yeah, I don't know. All right, video is not going as I planned. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's because I'm shooting at 500, dumbass. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, overfill here. Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> Let's go for the little guys. Got that. Oh, I know the problem. Knucklehead. All right. Yeah, that was fun. All right, so we got the 500. Here we go, five. Got it. Nice. Okay. Uh, they got another one at 600. Little guy. Little win. Went right over right shoulder. All right, try for the gong. Got it. All right, that's 600. Now the guys were asking for 700. There's about an 18 inch gong up there. Yep, it's size perfect with the reticle that's in here. This is the ACSS reticle. Uh -uh. Oh, she's going high. There it goes. All right, well, it's got some wind going up on top. Let me go back down to the 200, because that's what I was doing. Wrong targets, right? Let's go to 300. Ah. All right, that's good enough for me. I know what this guy will do. Uh, yeah, the wind's kicking up now, as you can see. Real big. All right, well, I think we're okay for this weekend. Uh, right now, what I gotta do is make sure my uh, diagonal 45 degree is on target. And I feel pretty certain we'll be able to do that with this wind, hopefully. Y'all be good, it's KB32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, blue, God bless America, God bless us men, women in uniform, 24 seven for our freedom. It's freedom is not free, it's not forget. Uh, this is for CW, Chief Warrant Officer Duskin, this weekend. Thanks, Ray. It's going to kill me. Y'all be good. I'm out here. Boom.